Hello monkeys, welcome back to Monkey Gardening. Uh, the weather has sort of improved, we've got a bit of sunshine, the garden's just about drying out, um, but I'm way, way, way behind. It's 23rd of April today. Um, I haven't got anything growing apart from herbs and strawberries. I've not planted anything new, I've not sown anything new. Um, so I have come to, so let me turn, turn the camera around. I've come to B&Q in the uh, Mischief Mobile an absolutely filthy mischief mobile. Um, place I used to take the car to to get washed, closed down. I think it got shut down by immigration. Um, so what I might actually do here while I'm here is buy a pressure washer. Um, but the priority is to get some uh, plug plants so I can actually get some stuff growing. Because uh, at the moment I've got nothing. And if I don't get a move on, we're not gonna have any monkey gardening this year. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go in. If there's anything interesting in there, I'll film it. Otherwise I'll show you what I've got when we get back to the garden. Well, here we are back at the monkey house with my hall. Um, I think uh, being q had been struggling with the weather as well. The uh, selection of plants was a bit thin on the ground. Um, the one that I go to is normally pretty good. Well, one of the better ones for good plants. Uh, but we've got a few things, just a little compost. I'll get these out of the car and I'll show you what I've got. So here we are in, out in the garden. I've got my cup of tea. Uh, it's dry at least, but it's hardly uh, warm. It's uh, 10 or 11 degrees out here still an absolute mess uh, i'm gonna try and tidy up what i can but uh yeah so we've got um three dahlia plants which i've had before they flower and keep on flowering they're really nice uh i've got a apache chili plant i've still got my chilies upstairs on in seedling corner they've just about survived the winter they're not very happy i'm gonna pop them up in a minute um some uh, a tomato plant thought i might as well get one um some uh, lettuce plants and some spinach so yeah just a few things there wasn't a massive selection as i said the uh, selection wasn't that, wasn't that great and a lot of things didn't look didn't look very good also got a few seeds so uh, some flowers so we've got a giant variety a dwarf variety and some coriander seeds and courgettes it's probably a bit late for the courgettes but i don't know it wouldn't have been any point doing it any earlier because it's just been so cold um, but yeah, we might get some late, some late harvest of the cause yet. Um, so I'm going to pop these up and I'm going to clean up my cloche, which is over here, which like everything else is covered in mud. Um, so I'm going to give, the, give this a wash down, maybe with a hose. Um, so it's got some chance of actually letting light through. Um, so things can live under there for a little while. Um, I'm not sure what next. At least we've got those fences done, that's something. Anyway, I'm whittering on. Let's get this stuff planted up. Oh, and I should have mentioned uh, they'd sold out of the pressure washer that I wanted. Um, so I might order that online later. Uh, okay, let's get these things potted up. And as is typical, I've walked away from my cup of tea for five minutes and a fly's landed in it. Um, so first things first, make another cup of tea. Okay, that's that lot potted up. Uh, the sun's even come out. It's actually nice out here. I can't tell you how nice it is to be finally back out in the garden. Uh, unfortunately, the outlook from tomorrow is rain again. Um, so I'm going to try and get as much done today as I can. But yeah, it's a mess out here, but it's still my garden and it's nice. Okay, so I've just given the uh, cloche a clean with the hose pipe and some soapy water. So you can actually see through it now. Some of the dirt is actually trapped between the two pieces of plastic, I can't really get to it unless I disassemble the whole thing, uh, but it should be okay. Uh, as usual, I managed to do a Paddington Bear and get myself half soaked with the uh, hose pipe. Uh, so I'm going to let the uh, cloth sit in the sun and dry out. I'm going to sit in the sun and dry out. Um, the lettuce and spinach are just having a drink of water, they were very dry. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with them yet. Um, I think the next thing I'll do is uh, sow some seeds. Okay, so I'm just getting on and sowing some seeds. Uh, the weather's still holding, but uh, rain is due later on today. Um, and it looks pretty bad for the next week. Uh, so I'm going to try and get everything sewn up. Okay, so that's my uh, giant and dwarf sunflowers sown. Uh, the giant, I've put one seed per cell. The uh, dwarf, I've put two seeds per cell. Um, and well, hopefully they'll both germinate. But uh, if they if they do, I'll take out the weakest. 
Um, so they're going to go up to seedling corner, which we'll have a look at in a bit. I'm now going to sow my courgettes and my coriander. Uh, as I say, it's still flipping cold out here, even though it's dry. I mean, we're nearly into May now and struggling to get to double, double figures. Anyway, enough moaning about the weather. Okay, so that's my courgette and my coriander sown. I'm going to take this lot up to Seedling Corner, see what's going on there. Okay, so here we are back in Seedling Corner. Uh, these are my chilies, which have, well, they've just about survived the winter. Um, so that's my Reaper, that's my, what is that? That's my Thai Twilight, and that's my Scorpion. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these down and I'm going to uh, well, either repot them or top, well yeah, I'm going to repot them they need fresh soil and bring the other seeds up. So there's my courgette and coriander. Um, so yeah, I'm going to sort this corner out. Um, but yeah, I think we'll call that an episode. Um, not entirely sure what's next. It really depends on the weather. Uh, the forecast again is wet and it's cold. Um, but hopefully things will improve. At least we've got some stuff going. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. See you on the next one.